Yo, what's up everybody? Welcome to the live, the Q&A. You guys can ask me anything you want. I'm going to be here for about 30 minutes. Um, let me get this going. Just a casual live, you know what I mean? I'm just going to wait for people to join. How's it going everybody? Welcome to the uh, Q&A live. You guys can ask me whatever you want. MRI, whatever. Whatever you guys want to ask me, I'm here. Um, yeah, I've been getting a lot of DMs, a lot of questions. I, I don't have like all that time to answer. So I was thinking like, hey, let's just do a live. Let's catch up. Um, whatever topic you guys want to talk about, I'm here to talk about that. Um, I'm going to be on here for like 30 minutes. And, you know, I want to say uh, all my prayers go out to uh, Ukraine. Um, you know, this isn't a political podcast, but I think uh, war is definitely not the answer. Uh, maybe some of you guys have family member over there. Um, praying for peace. We don't want war. We want to all get along. Um, so yeah, moving along. But yeah, man, and you guys, whatever, feel free to answer, uh, ask me any questions. Whatever you guys want to talk about, we'll talk about it, man. You know what I mean? Whether it be uh, traveling jobs, you know, whatever. All right. For, so we got the first question right here. Uh, what is a fair starting wage for MRI tech? Well, it depends on, uh, tell me like what area you live in. Um, it all depends getting paid all depends on location man location 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 um, so where where do you live um, I, I I had a a, a Q and a um, or I asked the question I did a poll about like you know tell me how much you make and where are you are from I put that in the highlights um, so you guys can check that out in the highlights I have like all the wages and stuff are in there and people from around the world um, everywhere in the United States. Uh, okay, imaging here in uh, center in Texas. Is there anyone from Texas in in, in the uh, chat? Uh, I don't, you know, honestly, I don't know. I think there were some people who answered, so maybe you guys check the highlights. I can really only talk about California. That's what I really know most. But when I did that, I did that poll, and it's in the in the highlights. And I think somebody from Texas, excuse me, was talking about it. Um, so that one, that one's kind of hard, but. I know that I've seen a lot of traveling jobs to Texas, and traveling jobs usually pay very well. Um, I'm seeing, I can talk about California, um, San Francisco. Yeah, check out those highlights, guys. The highlights of the polls I've been doing, uh, asking questions, and you guys, you guys are giving the response, and you're telling me how much you make, um, where you're from. That gives a lot of insight to us because some of us might be willing to relocate and you know find other opportunities out there. But you got to keep in mind, like rent. How much is rent? Um, but see, look, I was looking at traveling jobs and, uh, um, this might be my next move. So, you know, I'm not sure where I'm going to travel, but it's looking like, you know, it could be San Francisco, it could be Arizona. So you got people from Argentina in here. So it's like, you know, it's, it's, you gotta, you gotta outweigh, you know, the benefits, you know, um, I'm seeing 3000 a week in Frisco. I'm seeing a lot of crazy stuff. All right, we got another question. How do you feel about schools doing virtual labs, not in, per in person? You know, all this uh, virtual labs is, you know, I, I feel like it's got to be hands on, man. A lot of the I've seen some texts come in and they don't they don't have much experience in the lab. And it really shows, you know, it really shows. And that's something that I wish these schools would step up. I know they make a lot of money. So if there's anybody, you know, from the schools watching right now. Um, I highly recommend that you, I, this is what I think you guys should rent out a trailer and park it in the parking lot and just have people training on there. You know what I mean? Work with the community. Maybe you guys can do some scans, you know, for free. You know what I mean? Uh, let's go. We got some more questions coming in. Uh, how's got, how's it going guys? Welcome to the chat. Feel free to answer, uh, ask me any questions you want. Um, how come techs are usually paid more in California than New York or Long Island? Uh, I'm, I'm going to say that it's a demand. We have a high demand uh, for techs out here in California. There's not enough of us. There is not enough techs. At my job now, if you guys are interested in outpa working at an outpatient, we, we are down techs right now, dude. We do not have enough techs at where I'm at, um, the company I work for. There is not enough techs. Um, it's hard to, you know, it's hard to make it in California sometimes, you know, this, I think the problem is, is that we are accepting low rates. Um, 
don't be afraid to say no. You know, if it's not enough, don't be afraid to walk away. That's my my thing. I don't know why we get paid more in, in Cali than New York because it seems like New York is also expensive too to live there. I was looking because I wouldn't mind traveling traveling to New York and working there, but the money didn't seem right for us techs. I, you know, the nurses are I'm sure they're getting paid. Uh, is there okay? Next question. Is there an online study program for MRI that is similar to the Rad Tech Bootcamp? Um, I love MRIquiz.com. That's what passed me, and it was the um, MRI and practice book is is the way to go. I mean, you can't really lose, man. I mean, that's that's the best route. I mean, you guys just got to make the time to study and it, look. And it also, let me tell you guys this: the armrest you can take the armrest at home now. Did you guys know that? You can take the armrest from the comfort of your home. So if you guys have, have an option, if you can get the ART or armrest and you're like, ah, I just need something, just take the armrest, man, just to get in, you know, just to get in. And then, you know, go for the ART if you want. That's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. Like if if the armrest gets you in and working, because the armrest, we all know, I don't know if we all know this, but the armrest is an easier test to take. I've talked to many people, easier test to take. There's also highlights of how to study for the ART and armor in my Instagram. There's highlights, all the texts, they, they they talked about the things they did to study for the test. So you guys got to check that out. All right, we're going to go to the next one. What made you want to do travel in my, um, you know, sometimes I feel like, like now that the place that I'm at, the company I'm working for, I feel like I capped out there. I can't grow. Um, I like new beginnings and new challenges and, um, you know, say if I move somewhere, you know, move to wherever it could be, it can be Hawaii, it can be anywhere, man. I don't know wherever Destin takes me. It can be Hawaii. It can be San Francisco. Um, just getting that experience and just getting motivated. And I think it's cool, you know, for my family too, you know, my kids experience different things. And, um, I'm kind of like in a small town right now. And it's like, I'm, I'm used to bigger cities and small towns cool for retirement. And sometimes you need a break, but and then I'm also seeing the bag that the traveling um, comes with. I mean, you're getting I'm 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 been getting some offers three thousand a week. I mean, you do the math on that. If my wife gets three thousand a week, a week, not every two weeks. You know, do the math. How much is that a month? Eighteen thousand a month. It's like crazy. So you know, we got loan some loans to pay off, credit card. Come on, man. I mean, this is all temporary. You know, you gotta. You don't, it might not be long term. You don't want to be a traveler forever. Nobody wants to do that. But if they're going to pay your, your apartment or your housing, you know, your food, and why not, right? Why not? You can always come back to where you were living. Uh, how many hours? I work 40 hours. I work four 10 hour days. Um, I have the weekends off, which got, it has me all comfortable right now, you know? So that's what's cool. I mean, yeah, if you work for a hospital, you may have to work some weekends and stuff. It's more money. So it's like you got to have a balance. But the cool thing about our job is like we can move around. There's always, there's always options. And I know how it is um, trying to find a job. You know, uh, sometimes you got to be willing to move to go get that experience. So that's what I tell the students. Like, don't be scared to move somewhere. You know, don't be scared to take a travel assignment, take the per diem. But if you're living in big competitive cities like L.A. or something like that, it may be hard to get a job at first. Don't be scared to go move somewhere, you know, for a little bit. Like, man, um, I'm reading the comments. Yeah, MRI quiz for sure, man. Uh, you know, if you haven't seen the video from the Radiologic Technologist on Facebook, he touched on ideas of areas. Yeah, if you guys don't, you guys just go go look up uh, the radiologic technologist on Facebook. He has like a web page, and um, he talks about that too. Yeah, man, for real, dude, three thousand a week. I can sh plug all of you guys. I don't care. Like, I want everybody to be successful. I want everyone to reach their goals, man. I mean, money might not be everything for you guys, but. You know, maybe you do want to make more money. Maybe you don't You don't want to work weekends. Maybe you want to work, you know, I can give you guys all the keys for that, man. Thousand Oaks. Yeah, um, true. But that's been my goal, man. Just look, looking into the, the traveling, man. I had, I had one of my uh, 
followers are he's like he's like kind of my friend like we did a live um he works at ucsf uh you guys can go check that out i have a video he talks about how it is working at ucsf which is like a huge one of the best hospitals you know for uh the research cancer research uh cancer treatment and it seems it it, it would just be very interesting to work there you know just to see how they how they move and you know it would be awesome to work there it just for the experience you know why not work for the best company or work for the best hospital while we're here you know i'd give it a shot why not man you know that's all that's how i feel um my wife is an, an mri tech too uh I don't know when she's going to announce it, but she's going to be going back. She's going back to school. Um, I might say what. Maybe she'll get on here and talk about it. Uh, let's see. Any tips for using a power injector? I'm using one for the first time, and it seems intimidating. Yeah. I would say the most important thing with the power injector is make sure the lines are connected. Um, make sure you flush the line with the saline because you don't want to just be pumping air in, into somebody and, you know, you kill somebody. Um, you know, make sure you got a good IV, you know, after you stick, you, you do the IV, um, you know, you definitely want to flush it, take the time, flush it, check it, make sure the patient's arm is remains straight down by the side when they go in the machine. Cause if they start bending it and you try to inject, you know, it's not going to work. Um, it really isn't that intimidating. Um, if you have a patient with a small vein, a sketchy vein, you can slow down the injector too like slow down the rate like if you're doing 1.5 and you just do like 1.2 um yeah like you said um money money doesn't equal happiness you know i know i made the most money i made a couple of years ago i think i made like a hundred and twenty thousand dollars or something like something like the most ever and yeah i mean it was a stressful year but i i was able to pay some stuff off vacations and had some fun, but yeah, I mean, it's not going to buy, it's not going to make you happy. You know, I had some of the, the happiest times when I was poor, you know, living in a freaking, um, uh, back house, you know what I mean? So the, yeah, the money ain't going to make you happy. It's, you got to find out what you want and go from there. You know, you got to have your five-year plan, you know, 10-year plan, 20-year plan. Do you see yourself? Where do you see yourself? You know what I mean? Um, you, we manually inject with butterflies where I work. I've done that. I've done that uh, when I worked on a trailer. We didn't have an injector. Uh, I don't know. I, we didn't have an injector. So we would inject, run back in, and then scan them. You know what I mean? Hey, shout out. What's up? Sonography. <laughs> Tendencies, man. Sonog yeah, what up, bro? Um, Yeah, man. I've done. A, there's been a lot of bootleg scans on those trailers, dude. Working on trailers is cool. I think everyone should do it. It's pretty chill. It's easy for most. Wow, well, my experience. <sighs> Consider working for the VA. Yeah, man. Why not, man? What you know? Salutes. I scan a lot of uh, people that were in the, the army and all the soldiers, man. Hey, like I said, man, my prayers go out to Ukraine. Uh, I don't think war is the answer. Um, you know, my prayers go out, my prayers go out to anybody that's out there, any troops that go out there. If you guys have family out there, you know, we, hopefully we can solve, uh, we can come to peace. Um, I don't want to see another war happen. And then it just all, it all falls downhill. You know, we all get affected by it. Um, I'm aware of it. You know, we are all aware of it. I'm sure we're all talking about it. Uh, I'm not going to sit up here and act like I'm an expert on it, but. You know, I've been following it. And I'm definitely, definitely aware. And it's no joke, man. I see a lot of jokes on here, but it really ain't funny. It ain't funny if you're on that, that plane going flying out there. Um, and I don't like the, the aftermath of the wars. You know, we scan a lot of war veterans and they have a PTSD and all that, you know. Um, I've seen their limbs blown off. All kind of stuff, man. It's terrible, you know. Moving on. Do you let people wear masks in the scanner? Uh, no. If it has metal, they take it off. We have some masks where we took out the little uh, metal part for the nose. And uh, then we, you know, if they, 
if they uh, don't want to wear the mask when they go in the machine, we just tell them, we just let them tell them to take it off at this point. In the beginning, the rules were really tight and they had to wear it the whole time. Now we're loosening up on the rules. Um, we still have to wear a mask at my job. Like the employees all have to wear a mask. Um, you, yeah, yeah, we do. I'm just kind of like moving along. Uh, you ever thought of becoming, yeah, I've thought about becoming a radiologist before. Um, I don't know, but I don't think I, uh, to me, I don't know. I don't, I don't know if I would do that though. I thought about it, but yeah, I don't know if it's for me. Yeah. Uh, yeah, my wife, we, if you guys haven't seen me and my wife, we have several vi videos together on the YouTube. Um, we, we did a really cool one where we answered questions. It was like, uh, where we ate food. It's called a mukbang. You know, you eat food and answer questions. We ate some sushi. Um, we did one where we went to go get coffee and we talked about MRI safety. We've done a couple lives together. I was trying to get around for this one, but this was kind of like out of the moment. Like I just kind of like, you know, it's hard to answer all the questions. I'd rather just answer them live so you guys can all see them. Um, you know, instead of typing on the phone, it's hard, man. We just, we're busy. But yeah, uh, I was trying to get her on this live, but she's kind of busy. Um, and like I said, she's, you know, she's working on some new things. Um, she's going back to school. Do you flush after setting up an IV? Yeah, all the time. I, I flush the, uh, after I started an IV, I flush it with some saline, make sure it's good. And that's something like weird, dude. Like I, I don't, I love starting IV. I don't know. It's something like the satis, you get so like the satisfaction of starting an IV, especially one that's like hard to get. And it's just, it's like a weird, it's a good feeling. Like, it's like one of those things, man. Like, when you hit a three in, ba in basketball or if you don't know if you got skateboard, you land a kickflip or something. Or it's hard to explain. It's like this this good feeling you get when you start a higher IV. I don't know. It's pretty cool. I like starting IVs. I hate missing them, though. For some reason, if I miss an IV, like two, two or three in a row, it just like freaking pisses me off, man. It's hilarious. Um, the machines I worked on, um, I started off on an old 1.5 GE. I was working, no, I was at clinicals. I was doing, I was working, working with Radnet. Um, and then they had this open Hitachi that they let me on. Um, freaking boring, dude. Working on the open. Oh my God. Each scan was like an hour and a half. It was just too slow, man. I would fall asleep. I couldn't, I couldn't do it. I couldn't, I like I honestly, I like it when it's busy. I like when it's busy, but then like everything is in order. Like you have like the correct exams order. Like every, if everything's running smooth and it's busy, I was fine. But when it's just like everything's messed up, it's like, ah. Oh. But yeah, um, Hitachi Open, Philips 1.5, which it's a beast. The, the Philips 1.5, it's old. Um, then you got, I worked on almost every model of, GEs, dude, like everything almost all the one, old 1.5s because they would bring trailers, different magnets. I, ne I, I never worked on a Siemens, I want to. Um, then the GE3T, the new one, that one's dope, probably my favorite. What is the resource best MRI, uh, to master MRI anatomy? MRI master, actually. <laughs> MRIMaster.com. That website's awesome. I still go to it to look at anatomy. I look at stuff every day, you know, to be honest with you. I try to learn something every day. That's my, um, that's what I say, dude. Like, try to learn every day, you know, sometimes. Kid, Kid Miss Cuddy. Kid Cuddy. That's a cool name. What helped me most to study for the ART, it was the MRI quiz, dude. Uh, MRIquiz.com and the MRI in practice book. You guys, I hope you guys have, I hope all you students have the MRI in practice book. That's the best book. Hands down. Uh, phone, uh, can we do a phone call? Hey, dude, Andy, ask me some questions now, man. So everyone can learn. Maybe, man. Maybe if I have time, it's just hard. It's hard, dude. I got like a lot of stuff. 
going on. I got to make videos and then I'm working with some other companies. Your, man, and me and uh, your X-Ray Tag, we're working on stuff. But yeah, man, maybe I can do it. But hey, if you can ask me some questions now, I'll answer them for you. What is the break? Wait, what? What was the breakdown for the ART? Was it mostly MRI physics? It's a mixture of everything, man. Like it'll they'll show a picture on the ART, and it'll point to like one of the arteries, and then you gotta like A B C D. You know what I mean? I feel like I feel like you either know it or you don't. You know what I mean? If you know MRI, you know MRI. So. If you study enough, you're studying the right things, you know, you're going to be straight, dude. Your coworker doesn't flush. They're savages. They're savages. You guys are savages. Wait, what? They don't hold and she does. Oh, man. When The worst thing is when you do, you do an IV. You, yourself, you do an IV for somebody and they get hooked up to the injector and they, they get infiltrated and their arms all like swollen or whatever. Oh, that's a bad feeling, huh? My first clinical site was on the open touchy. Oh my god, the open so boring, man. I just I can't, dude. I can't. I just fall asleep and then when I get tired, it's it. When I'm tired and bored at work, it just my oh man, when it gets boring like that, I had nothing. I have to drink some coffee. I drink like too much coffee right now, to be honest with you. I drink like two in the morning and I'll drink one, I don't know, three cups a day. Is that a lot? I don't know. Been in MRI tech for five years. Not, if you include the clinicals, it's probably been like six. It feels like a long time, but it's not that long. Do you guys, are you, how do you guys feel after the week, man? Are you guys freaking exhausted after a week? Freaking tired, man. Tired as hell, man. Do you guys have any, um, any, re you know, recommendations for, like, videos for me to make? Interview tips? I just started clinicals two weeks ago working on Siemens. That's cool, man. I want to work on a Siemens. Because I hear that they're better than GE. That they're, like, more, they're, like, fa more fancier or whatever. Interview tips? Hmm. Hmm. They ask me basic questions on an interview. They're like, what is a T1? And what is a T2? What is a flare? Why would you do a flare? What would you do for a seizure protocol? What if you had a problem with the patient? What would you do? Blah, blah, blah. Like, my thing in an the interview, they're going to ask you, are you ready to go? Like, how many days of training do you need? Just say, you know. Two days, three days. I said like two weeks on my first job. They're like, we can't do that. We're going to do a week. I said, yeah, sure. You just got to say you can do it. Just do it like Nike. Just do it. Just go in. If you ain't ready, who the hell cares? Once they sign you on, they got you. That's it. You're in. They don't want to say, oh, I don't know. I can try. Just say you can do it. Get the job. Get it. Just be confident. Show up in a suit and tie. Some nice, you know. Brush your grill, don't eat Oreos before. And just, they may even have you set up a scan during an interview. But, yeah, man, they're just gonna ask you, like, have you done certain scans before? You know, have you done this and that? And just say, yeah. Review questions for MRI Yellow Book is a good study for boards. MRI Yellow Book, never heard of it. You have to send me the, a link of, for that. So I can share it. Siemens 3T. Damn. Does anyone work on AI? Like my boy, uh, Bach. Welcome to the show. Getting a little hungry, man. What time is it? Do-do. Do-do. Did you guys pass? Let me ask you guys a question. Did you guys pass your exam first try? Like your ART? Let me ask that question. And then the other thing I was going to try, I don't know if I'm going to do it this year, but have you guys heard of an MRSO, MRI safety officer? Do you, I guess every job is supposed to have one, but I don't think they do. And... 
I guess there's like, I know they have one in Vegas. It's like a, fuck, I mean, it's like a couple of days. I think it's like three days. And you go and the guy from, I don't know if it's Shellock or something like that. And you go and like you pass, oh, you learn about more about in depth about MRI safety. And then at the end, you take the MRI safety, this MRI safety license test, and then you can become an MRI safety officer. And then I think that should get you more money in hospitals, right? Dude, it's 3 a.m. Two, where are you at, man? I'm in, let's see, the West Coast, California. It's three, about 3.30. But, man, we got. You know. But, yeah, I don't know. How else to advance? I'm going to take the exam in four months. I want to speak it into existence and say I will pass first try. Of course, I'm going to also study. Man, I hope you do pass the first try. I was so ner I ain't gonna lie. I was freaking nervous. I took my test. It was somewhere in Pasadena, and it was I was living in Burbank, and it was like, I don't know, it's like thirty minute, twenty five minute drive. And I go into this building, bunch of there was like fifteen people there. Everyone was quiet. There was lockers in the room. You check in your two two forms of ID. Yeah. Lock all empty your pockets. Lock everything up. You go into this room, looks like a computer lab, and there's like video cameras watching you. You get a scrap of paper and a pencil. You go on the computer and it's just, boom, you're in it. And then at the end, it tells you if you pass, it gives you a score. And I remember my heart was beating, uh, my heart was beating so fast. Uh, I'm back, sorry. Then I looked and I was like, oh shit, I passed it, dude. Oh my God, man! I was, I was like, that was one of the happiest days, man, that I passed. And then you call everybody, you know, you made it, you made it in the game. Like I said, that that armoret, you can take, you can take the armoret, uh, uh, from your house online. Does it? Does anyone know that? Does anyone know that you can take the, uh, you can take the armoret from the comfort of your home, dude? Imagine that. I'm not saying it seems like it would be easy to easy to cheat on that test. What do you guys think? I don't know. I'm not saying you should cheat, but hey man. I was saying. <laughs> yes. You can take the armor from your freaking house, man. Imagine that. Imagine taking your tests at your freaking house. I don't know. One of my the homies was like, yeah, you can take it at your house. You have to Spin your camera around your house to make sure <laughs> to make sure you're not cheating. But I'm like, dude, there's so many freaking ways you can cheat on that test. You can you can like hook up an HDMI to a, another computer, have a little earpiece. I don't know, dude. Like, whatever. Armored's Armored's so desperate right now because they know they're losing. Nobody want to be in the armored. You know, they just want the ART. Hey, your x-ray tech, your, the sticker you gave me, just like, I don't know what's going on, man. It looks like I got a mask on there or something. You see that shit? Fuck. Got, okay. I just got my first hospital job. I hope to get my foot in the door and venture into going to radiology school. Yeah. You're already at the hospital. Sheesh. Continue the education, man. You know? Just keep it moving, man. We got to keep growing. You know, we trying to take them chip trips, we're trying to go to France, we're trying to go to Paris, my boy. Come on, my boy. See, you can take the armor at home. Crazy, dude. Yeah, I'm looking for one of those remote jobs where I can just scan from home, man. Yeah. Hey, but the the sticker. Uh, start changing, uh, changing, man, your x-ray tech. It looks cool. It looks kind of cool, though. It's weird. What are the best scrubs? That's what I want to know. I feel like, uh, 
Cherokee is. Cher the Infinite. Or the Dickies, uh, what is it called? Dynamix. Dynamix. Figs is cool. Calibration. Wait, what? How many clinical hours? Man, it took me like four. Uh, to get comfortable with like the basic scans, like lumbar, brain, knees, it took me like two months to get those those scans down. But you ain't to to be on your own and ready. I would say confidently, like a year, a year. A year in, and you're you should be pretty good. At this point in my career, after five years, it is it's like right it's like riding a bike. I don't even know how to ride. No, it's fine. It's like riding a bike. Like it's like whatever. You know, I'd say most scans. Every once in a while, I run into little problems, but now I. Psh, man, did you did you guys watch my last video? How many scans I did in a year? Did you guys see that? I almost scanned 3,000 people last year. Ridiculous. They owe me money, man. If my manager is watching, I want one million, schmillion, kabillion. What's the hardest scan? Uh, lower extremity runoff or something? I don't know. The floral trigger lower extremity runoff on the 3T. Because it's hard to see the flow. The flow going in sometimes. I don't know. Sometimes, you know, cardiac is pretty hard because I didn't, I don't know, I didn't do many of those. How long till you were on your own? After, uh. They gave me like, literally, like my first job. They gave me three days and they just threw me out there and I just, I sucked so bad. This guy came in, this older guy was like 70, chubby, nice, he was a big dude. And he had a mass, a mass on his ass. And I was like, what the hell, what do I do for that? And then I went to the rad and the rad's like, do what you usually do. And I'm like, dude, it's like my third day. He's like, you don't know what to do? And I'm just like, no. And then I had no idea what to do. And I was looking for, you know. And then the manager came in and the manager's like, what are you doing? And I was like, I'm trying to figure out how to do this. She's like, you don't know what you're doing? And I'm like, uh, do you not do this? And she's like, I don't know. So after, I don't know, it took me like an hour. I finally got it, dude. I got it. And it was negative, the scan. The guy was fine. And then... I was tr cruising along, and then I was I was a temp worker, and nobody liked me there. Everyone hated me. Um, they did not help me. Like I was supposed to have like an assistant bringing the patients back, changing them. No one did shit for me, dude. Nothing. I was like, cool. They would order food, eating that shit in my face. You know, they wouldn't do shit for me, man. The rad was just like, he's a. I heard him talking one time. He's like, oh, he's a decent guy. Well, he doesn't know what he's doing. I'm like, dude, I can fucking hear you, bro. Like, what the fuck? So, uh, I had to scan this wrist. So, I'm trying to scan this wrist. And the wrist is not showing up. Yeah, it was... Oh, dude. I'm not saying I wanted to cry, but I was like... I don't know if you ever got lost in the store and you couldn't find your parents. Where you have that moment of worry. Yeah, I had that. I was scanning a wrist. <laughs> And the, uh, I kept doing the wrist, man, and nothing was coming up. It was freaking black, dude. And it was like, we closed at like 6. It was like 5.45. I was like, fuck. Nothing coming up. Nothing coming up. Fucking fell, dude. So I just had to say, I, you know, not my proudest moment, probably the worst moment. I said the machine was down, dude. <laughs> I was like, the machine is down, you know. So the problem was with that was that... I think I had the patient going in feet first and I had change of orientation to like 
Maybe the prone. You know, the little guy at the bottom where you have to put him prone. Yeah, dude, I fucked that up, dude. So, but they came back and I, I, I scanned him. Because I, I I called the other tech and I was like, hey, you know, he's like, oh, did you change the orientation? I was like, yeah. Anyway, that was probably like one of the worst mistakes I made. Um, but whatever, you know, you learn, you know, you learn from your mistakes. Dumb, I've done some dumb shit, you know. You've done ass masses before, yep. We had some weird ass masses. There was some um, girl we scanned when I was in clinical. She had these, like, butt injections from, like, Mexico or something. And then she said it was, like, sh sheep fat or something. I don't know, dude. Yeah, it's weird ass shit. And we scanned her, and there was just, like, clumps of fat in her ass. I don't know what the fuck happened after that, but I was just like, who the hell would let them inject sheep fat in their ass? Like, who the fuck? Who, what the fuck? I don't know. Oh, dude. I have, man, they have so many stories, dude. Just crazy stuff. Stuff, I don't know. Some of these patients, like, I don't know, dude. Like, I had, this, I had this lady. She comes in wearing, like, this weird hat, dude. It looks like, it literally looks like a helmet. But it then looks like one of those safari hats over. And it's, like, huge. It's a huge hat. And I'm just like, what the hell? Start talking to her. And she's like, yeah, I'm getting my... She's getting her abdomen scanned. She's, like, 70. And she's, like, she pulls out her phone immediately. And she's like, look. Look at this. And I'm, like, looking at it. I'm like, what the fuck is that? And it's a fucking tower, like a cell phone tower. I'm like, oh, shit. She's like, yeah, I live next to the cell phone tower. Cell phone tower caused me to have masses in my liver. Um, some fumes came out of it. And yeah, after that, I was like, fuck. This lady is fucking crazy, man. Uh, you know, so, you know, whatever. Fucking shit's crazy, dude. Like, you just hear stuff like that, you know. I scanned some lady's brain. She said that she can look at people... And see the aura. The aura? Is that what it's called? The aura around people. Like, she's like, you have an, you know, she, that's, that was her power. I don't know, dude. So, shit's crazy. Do you think we would have to work at a hospital to become the best MRI tech possible? I don't get exposed to any complicated exams, like runoffs. Hmm. I think working at the hospital is interesting because the patients are more critical. And I'm not saying the outpatients scans don't mean anything but i feel like they're just critical like you, you we gotta get this scan you know what i mean this patient had a, has a stroke this patient you don't you know it comes in and they're uh, unconscious or they're everything they're there's you know lost their vision like it's like cr like critical like we gotta get this scan because you know this can completely help this patient it can get them you know healed up and yeah i scanned a guy that had a bunch of tubes going down his throat and you know, they don't know why. And I just, we've done some crazy stuff. Or I scanned this guy that had his, his whole hip was like cracked in half. Like, I don't know. I feel like it's it was, it's a good experience. Um, at the hospital I was at, it was a stroke hospital. So it was a lot of brains and abdomens. We didn't do a lot of the MSK stuff. And, you know, it was mostly that. But I feel like a lot of, it was a lot of critical. You have to monitor the patient. We scanned people that have pacemakers. So it was like, you did cardiac scans, so it's like you get exposed to different things, and then you're working along, you know, with the doctors and the nurses, and you just kind of see. I was there in the beginning of the pandemic. And they're bringing me people with COVID, and we didn't even know. What to, they didn't give me anything. I was kind of, <laughs> I didn't have no PPE, nothing, dude. So it was crazy. So I did. I had. I experienced that too. I was on the front lines, like, you know. But the text, the nurses get all the credit. Oh, the nurses on the front line. I scanned COVID patients too, motherfucker. Like, you know, going to externship in July, would you recommend I go to a hospital or imaging center for best experience? The outpatient center is going to, you're going to get a variety of scans. You're going to scan more people probably. Um, hospital is going to pay more, you know. I mean, I would, man. It would be cool if you go to a hospital because maybe you'll get a job at the hospital. You get more money if that's what you want. But my experience, the the clinical, like, Oh, man, that's where you learn everything, you know, especially if it's a busy outpatient center, which you need, 
Because if you're just there scanning brains and I'm doing all day, you're going to miss out on some stuff. Um, you have images of a patient with silicone injections in the anus. Yeah. It can be dangerous, man. People die from uh, plastic surgery, right? My favorite exam? Hmm. Good question, man. I don't know, man. Probably, like, the runoffs are pretty cool. It, they just look really cool. Like, the lower extremity runoff or MRI of the brain look pretty cool. At the hospital, when patients are on beds, do the nurses bring them? Oh, they have a transporter. The transporter brings the patient along with the nurse sometimes. Most of the time, along with the nurse, to, the nurse monitors the patient. So, yeah. But you still got to help the transporters transport the patient to your MRI table. So there is some, you know, um, you got to transport the patient. You got to slide them to the bed. You use sliding boards. Um so yeah, if you're gonna work in the hospital, be prepared for that. I suggest you work out. You know, if you don't got no muscle, because you're gonna be getting hurt sliding those patients. You're gonna be pulling them, sliding them. You're gonna have help, but if you're in bad shape or if you are weak, you're probably gonna get hurt. Because oh man, I just remember just when I was at the hospital, just sliding so many patients. I mean, MRI is stressful. Is MRI stressful and, and is it fast paced? Yeah, it could be. At an outpatient, busy outpatient center, it could be very fast paced. Like they only give you 15 minutes, you know, to do uh, most scans, you know. Like scan like 26 patients a day and it'd be busy all day back to back. Um, I worked at a hospital where it was like 10 patients a day, you, you know, but it takes longer to get the patient down from their room. It could take an hour to get them on the bed you know so but it could be stressful when they you know at a hospital too but in my experience it was less stress at a hospital than outpatient overall but there's some days where that you whew, stuff can go downhill quick at the hospital man they the one time they brought this guy i was unconscious and they came for br but we didn't have a screening form on him. We didn't have any family member. I was like, I'm not going to put this guy in there. I don't know what's in his body. There's no, you know what I mean? And then the nurse started yelling at you. And then there was another time a nurse was yelling at me for, uh, they wanted me to scan a pacemaker. And I was like, we need a rep here. Doo -doo -doo. And they were just going off on me. So you're going to have your stressful moments. Um, my experience I would say the hospital is a little less stress, but outpatient, um, it's just wears on you sometimes. I mean, where I'm at, it's just so busy. It's kind of been wearing on me lately, but hmm, I don't know. It's, I don't know. I had so many jobs, though. I'm trying to remember, put myself in position when I was working all those other, working, I worked at UPS. That job sucked. Loading the trucks. So I've had some bad jobs, man. I mean, I'm not shooting down UPS, but damn, that shit was... That was stressful. Do, 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 do. My current job, I've been there. Damn. I like... Okay, I had left my job for a year. So you could say like four years, but I never like quit. I was always per diem with them. Mm -hmm. so that's my suggestion too if you guys are going to leave your job just try to go per diem with them because you might come crawling back uh, most things the most common scans we do are spines C spine, L spine, T spine then you got some a lot of prostate scans abdomen get, you know those are like the we have two machines that are the the place I'm, I have two machines at the location I'm at, and then there's a total of three locations. Um, total of two, three, five scanners out of you know three locations, and then but where I'm at with the two machines, there's two machines and there's three techs, sometimes two techs, um, and we're doing like thirty two, 
average some days it can be 36 38 anything over 28 i'm just like i'm tired just tired yeah i can't stand the um can't stand the non-mri people too man the the ones that are just like the not i mean they come in they think they know what what's going on they think they know about the mri and then you got to be careful man we had some people you know we scan inmates too i don't know if you guys know but um i do we scan some inmates uh from the mental hospitals and they make sure if you guys are scanning any inmates um or you know any kind of patients from the they call them patients from the mental hospitals the mental whatever facilities uh make sure they're they are restrained you know what i mean plastic restraint zip ties don't trust these guys these guards saying that oh it's they're fine they're fine yeah but why did they come restrained on your uh trailer or on your in your car you know oh, no. nah and i scan a lot of these guys these uh these guards from these mental hospitals and, and the prisons and and they come in they've been attacked by you know the inmates or the the uh you know their their patients so don't believe all that bs and you know you're not you're not a security guard you're not you know it's not your job to you know have to worry about fighting one of these inmates so uh, how much experience do you need before going to hospital like a year i got hired hospital a year and my pay scale went up i have a science filled science filled story to get prostate patients to use for I have not paid off my student loans, sadly. <laughs> Damn. That's why I want to do the travel job, man. Would I recommend being in MarTech? Yeah, why not? I mean, enjoy helping people in the medical field. Uh, I'm at a warehouse. I'm at a warehouse worker. I want to change my life, but I'm nervous because I really don't want a stressful job. Um. You got to find like what you're passionate about and something that you can tolerate um, as a career, which is hard to do. It took me a while, dude, uh, to be honest with you. Um, don't just do it because you see it as an easy way. Um, you don't want to be bored. I mean, there's so many jobs out there. You just got to keep looking. So many options, you know. MRI, MRI is not for everybody, you know. Radiology is not for everybody. Nursing is not for everybody. And no one can decide that but you. How long do you study for at least like a month? I would study for at least a month every day. And take all those MRI quiz question, uh, tests, the mock tests. Uh, I'm not certified in CT. I just have MRI, man. That's it. Nothing else. I don't have interest. Or as far as right now, I don't have any interest in doing x-ray or CT. Um, I like to, I just want to be an expert in MRI. To be honest with you right now. I see how they work the, uh, the x-ray techs at my job, man. They do like 100 x-rays on two uh, machines. 100. 100. That's too many. Too many x-rays for me, man. Hundred? I'm interested in the, the the IR stuff though. It looks pretty cool. The IR stuff in the floral department. That's the kind of stuff I would like to do. That would be cool. Like we do uh, breast biopsies and stuff. But dude, you're not about to get. You're not about to give me dude that many scans, X-rays, dude. No way. No fucking way. CT. I'm just saying. I don't know. I feel like CT is easier to learn. I know that because the CT techs tell me, the ones that do MRI, they're like, oh, CT is easy. Like, you don't have to worry about safety. You're just putting, there's reformats, but I guess they scan in blocks. Like, if you're going to do, you just don't draw a block. You don't do angles. You reformat after. So, and the CTs are like 10 seconds each. I'm like, eh, pff. they don't have to do as much as us. That's what I think as far as like setting up a scan protocols you know, manipulating protocols, you know, 
angles. We do we do a lot of MRI. There's a lot of stuff going on. MRI safety. Come on, dude. You know, shh. Not downing. I'm not downing anybody. Nothing that I say matters. You know, it's just my opinion. You know, I appreciate all modalities. You know, even if it's like ultrasound, it's like they don't even know what they're looking at. Like, you know what I mean? The hell is that fish radar? Like, the hell? Oh, I'm doing ultrasound. Now it's funny. <laughs> Look at me I have a thing. Oh, it's a baby. It's a boy. Like, come on, dude. Fuck out of here. Now it's funny. I'm just talking shit. Pet. I feel like pet. It's like, they don't know. Man, that this seems like the easiest fucking job to ever do. I think the hardest thing doing pet is like getting the prep. But they just fucking, they don't do shit in pet, dude. They don't do fucking shit. No one knows how to read a fucking pet. You know what I mean? Get the fuck out of here, dude. Like, that seems like a boring ass job to me. Pet scans? I don't care what they make, but that seems like a fucking, I don't know. Ooh, sit there for an hour, 30 minutes, whatever. And it's like, you want a blanket? Like, get out of here, dude. You don't know what the hell you're looking at. I'm like, I don't know. Oh, look at the, it's, it's, it's fucking red right there. Like, get the fuck out of here. Recommend MRI. Follow up. Yeah, that's right, motherfucker. Recommend. <laughs> Recommend MRI because we're the only ones that make, you know, we make the money. Well, hey, uh, I don't know what the fuck I'm looking at an ultrasound. Uh, recommend MRI. Get the fuck out of here. I'll oh, send the x-ray first. What the fuck is that? Oh, recommend MRI. What, recommend ultrasound. What the fuck is that? I don't see shit on ultrasound. Oh, recommend fucking MRI. Yeah, dude. Get the fuck out of here. Pet scan. Get the fuck out of here. How the fuck you can get a... CT, how the, how the hell are you going to get a CT of a lumbar spine, but then have an MRI spine the same day? Like, you do CT of the L spine, then MRI of the L spine. Why the fuck did you get the CT of the L spine? Why the, what? Why? Why would you order a CT? Why? Why would you get a fucking CT of the L spine and an MRI of the L spine the same day? That's what, I don't know, dude. I'm done. I had a pet CT done on myself a few weeks ago. It seemed like a super easy job. Yeah, they don't do shit over there, man. If you want to make good money and do not do shit, do pet. Those motherfuckers think they're hella smart too, dude. They don't know shit. Motherfuckers don't know shit. You know what? They're going to end up having thyroid pro uh, problems too, all that radiation. Oh, you have a breast exam and she has a double hip replacement and needs a knee replacement. Right to, oh my God. Yeah, they can't lay on her stomach. Yep, Casanova. No x ray. Yep, Casanova Saturdays. What? No, I'm doing a live right now. Yeah. Yeah, those, yeah, man. If you have somebody with bad knees trying to do it, uh, what is that, like a breast exam and they're trying to lay on the table, good luck. Weigh 300 pounds. Don't even try. Don't even try. What time is it? No, it's no, it's um, no, it's um. I don't know about you guys. You guys have? Do you guys have meetings at your job? And then I got. They're like, you're always behind. Like, your job's like, oh, we're under, we're under budget. We're under 4000 I was like, damn, dude, what? Where's all the money going? Two-year program. Um, Castellan was like a two-year program. Yeah. Castellan was a very good school. Love that school. Dope. Changed my life. Got me out the trenches. Oh, radiation therapist. Yeah, that's a cool job. I was just, uh, that guy, your x-ray tech, has, he inter interviews one, and it seems like a pretty cool job. As far as, like, I don't know how much they make. Um, I don't know what the pay scale is like, but it seems pretty cool. 
I was looking into that because, you know, when we get our patients, they're like, oh, they had radiation treatment. It's like, oh, well, what is that like? So I, I went on YouTube and I was like, hmm, interesting. You don't need anything to go to Castellano. You just need a high school diploma. Just show up. Easy. And you do a little um, exam to get in. You know, one plus one is two. Buckle my shoe, you know. Bam, boom, boom, bada bean. You know, the chicken wing, you know what I mean? <laughs> I'm just laughing at it. Okay. <laughs> all right guys this is 30 minutes i gotta roll we'll catch you guys next week if you guys missed it next week we're gonna do it we out here we gotta go have a blessed day coming